Okay, got the pulley off, and I used my size 10 wrench and uh, loosened up all of these adjusting lock nuts, and then I loosened all of these valves. So there's uh, every valve has play in it. They're all loose. Okay, there's 12 bolts holding the camshaft in. They need to be slightly broken loose and then loosened a little more until they're all broken loose in a particular order. So starting with the second one in this order, one, two, skip to the fourth one, three, four, skip to the last one, five, six, back, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the very first one, eleven, twelve. That order. Number three, and they each have a little arrow that points towards the front of the engine. So, I'll just take those guys out. They have these little, little guide sleeves on them. So, these things, one of them just fell down there. I'll have to get that out. Okay, I got those off. Had to wrestle with that last one a little bit. Now the camshaft will just raise right out. Yeah, I'm going to leave the uh, rocker arm shaft in place for now and just remove the entire cylinder head. H8, size 8, uh, I don't know what you call it, Allen wrench. The order starting from this end is to break them loose slowly. One, two, go to the other end, three, four, go back again, five, six, skip over one, seven, eight, and the last two, nine, ten in the middle. Okay, I got all these uh, cylinder head bolts loose. I tapped on it a little bit with my rubber hammer. There we go. One head, a little bit of stuff on there. And this one's all right. That one looks okay. Something's going on with cylinder number two. Maybe a valve or something, I don't know. Uh, head gasket. Oop, it came apart. I cleaned out this water pump housing real good and checked all around the edges because I know this is a place where cracks can form and it all looks good. I don't see any signs of any cracks. So next I'm going to take off the oil pan and then the oil pump right here. Oil, or in my cheap little engine stand is that I can just rotate it upside down. So to take the oil pan off, I'm just going to remove all these little bolts all the way around and hope that it's not glued on. Uh, the oil pan is glued on. It looks like it has RTV on it. So I'm just using this uh, paint scraper as a real thin blade and, and just tapping it, tapping it through. To uh, break that silicone loose. Okay, I got the silicone all loosened up. So, just have to uh, raise the oil pan off. Now, uh, to take this oil strainer off, there's a couple of little hex screws in there. These are uh, size 5. And with those two screws out, there's an O-ring that holds this in, kind of in there a little bit, so you might have to wiggle it. Nope, it just popped right out. See the O-ring there? 
and that's the oil screen and